The Duchess has addressed a bizarre, meritless, but ongoing conspiracy rumor regarding Meghan Markle in a roundabout way. The Duchess of Sussex, like Beyonce before her, has been hounded by online conspiracy theorists over her pregnancy, with those who question it dubbed Mexiteers. What about the ever-expanding bump? Bogus. What about the noticeably pop navel? Phony. The ecstatic glow? Fabricated. The divine belly craddling? A perfect ruse. Thus say conspiracy theorists, litter Twitter and Instagram with hashtags like hashtag Mexit, hashtag Duchess of Deception, hashtag Charlatan Duchess, and the usefully descriptive hashtag Meghan Markley's not pregnant. They allege Meghan has been wearing a cushion or a custom-made prosthesis called a moon bump during her pregnancy. Greetings, everyone. We hope you liked today's video of Royal Stories, in which we will talk about Meg fake Lily's pregnancy. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe and click the bell symbol so that you are notified immediately whenever there is an update. It is possible to have a lot of joy and excitement when you become a first-time mother, but it can also be very overwhelming. Because of this, it has been reported that Meghan Markle registered in parenting classes. According to reports found on the website of The Mail, Meghan participated in cradle company sessions offered by Brandy Jordan. The events that took place in Los Angeles served as an excellent dress rehearsal for the arrival of a new member of the royal family. Brandy counts celebrities such as Megan Fox and Julia Stiles among her clientele. Brandy, who is considered to be a parenting specialist, has in the past traveled to birth rooms and nurseries located all over the world, charging up to £5,000 for each visit. An authority on child rearing has deduced that Meg is lying about her pregnancy by pointing to upsetting elements. Care specialist Brandy shared some insights in Mail Online saying that despite being pregnant with Lily and parenting Archie, she was always relaxed. Brandy was conversing with a care specialist. She never showed signs of anxiety, never discussed her family's impending transition into a new phase of life, and never had morning sickness. Even if you had no interest in Megan or her antics, it was impossible to avoid seeing images of Megan while she was pregnant in the media. However, she was always pictured holding both of her hands on her pregnant belly in the photos. It was strange to maintain that attitude all the time, especially because I'd never seen another pregnant lady do it before. If she was wearing a prosthetic, she may have been worried that it may shift or slip, which would have exposed the fake. In addition, there was a lot of ambiguity surrounding the birth, and to this day, no one is sure if it was a home birth or a hospital birth when the baby was born. Some people had the assumption that the surrogate was already past her due date, which meant that Megan had to wait until the baby was born. Other women who were pregnant questioned how she was able to move her body and bend over to pick up items when she appeared to be in the later stages of her pregnancy and was supposedly carrying a large baby. This was something that other pregnant women were unable to do at the same point in their pregnancies. Others noticed that even though her stomach had expanded, the rest of her body had become quite slender. But why are some people so certain Megan lied about everything? Among the conspiracy theories Samantha Markle allegedly aired about her famous half-sister, Meghan Markle, is the strange but long-simmering notion that the Duchess of Sussex fabricated her two pregnancies. According to a new BuzzFeed News article, screenshots of since-deleted tweets from one of Samantha Marple's accounts show her reportedly joining others in propagating the fake pregnancy tale. According to BuzzFeed, the tweets indicate that the self-described author, screenwriter, and psychotherapist has been coordinating material with an influential anti-Meghan YouTube account as well as other Meghan and Prince Harry opponents. Samantha Markle, according to the story, has become Meghan's biggest troll after accusing her paternal half-sister, 17 years her junior, of social climbing her way into the British monarchy and abandoning her American family, including their father, Thomas Markle. The report also focuses on how Samantha Markle, 57, has supposedly become one of the most active internet propagators of fake pregnancy rumors, despite avoiding making similar assertions in mainstream media appearances. The Megan pregnancy truthers are among the more outspoken conspiracists who traffic in a specific type of celebrity gossip. 
pushing fake pregnancy claims about famous women. Megan Truthers claimed that her children, Archie and Lilibet, were conceived through in vitro fertilization and born through surrogacy. Some have speculated that there may be no Archie or Lilibet at all, accusing the Sussexes of employing lifelike baby dolls during their children's infrequent public appearances. According to a screenshot, Samantha Markle allegedly tweeted from her at the Markle Sammy account in June 2021. I think it should be mandatory that proof of delivery from my sister's womb be provided if any of the children are to have a title and Archie should not have a title because I believe a surrogate was involved. The account's username is Trump is America's president in this screenshot. So when her sister herself is questioning her pregnancies, I think that gives people enough reason to spin conspiracy theories. But what does Meghan Markle have to say in all this? Let's have a look. For years, despite the complete lack of evidence, a false conspiracy theory concerning Meghan Markle has spread like a damp fungus over the internet. Though the children are technically hers through her marriage to Prince Harry, Meghan is said to have had them carried by a surrogate. Meghan was said to have donned a fake baby belly to conceal the fact that she hired a surrogate. Conspiracy theorists sifted through videos of Meghan when pregnant, pointing out imaginary contradictions and worrying over creases near her stomach. Again, this story is pure gibberish from beginning to end. It's regrettable, but not surprising that the births of the only two multiracial royal children are being investigated so extensively. Their cousins' children, Prince William and Kate Middleton, were not subjected to such rumors. Both Meghan and Middleton performed public royal duties while pregnant, although Middleton was never accused of lying about her pregnancy. This is all a transparent attempt to undermine young Archie and Lilibet's birthright and place in the line of succession based on a very erroneous interpretation of an old British law. The rule in question is worded in such a way that it appears to preclude royalty from using surrogacy, since royal successors must be born of the body. This is from the 1833 Inheritance Act, a time before surrogacy was even medically feasible, let alone achievable. Surprisingly, a BuzzFeed News investigation discovered that Meghan's half-sister, Samantha Markle, was behind the distribution of these falsehoods. The elder Markle allegedly used a now-deleted Twitter account to speak with others on the social media app and propagate the false rumor ostensibly utilizing her biological link to Meghan to pretend she knew more than she did. Meghan spoke up to Vogue about her experiences with both of her pregnancies, as well as her miscarriage. When the conversation shifted to normalizing conversations about abortion and women's health, and what Meghan thought about such topics, she shared her own experience bearing her children. I think about how fortunate I felt to be able to have both of my children, she said. I know what it's like to be connected to what's growing inside your body. What occurs with our bodies is so intensely personal, the Duchess of Sussex said, which can also lead to silence and stigma, even though so many of us suffer from personal health difficulties. She even mentioned her earlier loss, which she wrote about in a New York Times op-ed in late 2020. I know what it's like to miscarry, which I've discussed publicly. The more we normalize discussion about issues that affect our lives and bodies, the more people will realize how important it is to have safeguards in place. Neither Meghan Markle nor Prince Harry has ever taken the time to directly address the absurd conspiracy idea that surrounds her pregnancies. And in all honesty, they have done the right thing by not doing so. Even if they were to offer these poor people the attention that they so desperately need, it would not be enough to put an end to the stories that have been spreading about them. As has proven abundantly obvious over the years, conspiracy theories do not need facts in order to spread faster than the most deadly virus. Leave your thoughts in the comments below and tell us what you think of these theories or do you have a conspiracy theory of your own? Thank you for watching. We are looking forward to catching up with you in the next video.